I mean, I definitely want to be a primary team leader. I think because that just comes with playing the quarterback position is that if you're not a leader in some way as a quarterback, um, I think you just have to be. And I think that's what comes with the job. And I mean, I think, yes, we did lose a lot of guys and I've met those guys and they're all just awesome dudes. And I think, you know, that's just kind of how it goes every single year that you have to learn. Um, you know, new guys have to step up. We already have guys stepping up on defense in those roles. And I mean, for me, it's a different experience because it's a completely new team. But I think for me, the difference between me coming in as a freshman and me coming in as a transfer is that I have, um, you know, I, I, I've already touched the field. And I think that definitely helps me when it comes to earning respect from my teammates. Because, I mean, you can't lead anyone or I cannot be a, le a leader seen by my teammates if I don't have their respect. So I think that's just really important for me right now is as I'm still in the early stages of me being here is just continually trying to earn their respect and uh, you know trying to prove to them that I'm willing to do everything it takes for us to win. Swarm did have an influence on it. Um, I mean, I knew I wasn't really chasing the money. I was really chasing the best football situation for myself, but I know definitely Swarm had, a, it was definitely beneficial in helping me make my decision. And uh, shout out to, to them, and because I know they're doing a lot of stuff, not just for me, but for the rest of the team. And um, honestly, I know the guys really appreciate it, and I think that's something special that we have here at Iowa. It was definitely a, um, a very, you know, that is, that's going to be an experience that I'm going to take along, you know, with me, and it's going to play a benefit in my life in the future. But, you know, honestly, I just, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to, um, you know, just start my career here, and I couldn't be more excited to be an Iowa Hawkeye. Absolutely. I mean, I think I've seen the potential. I mean, I've played Iowa before, and I know, you know, what the brand means. Um, and I think, you know, a part of that was Bud and uh, Coach Brian and KF really, showing me like where I can fit into this thing and um, my what my influence can be and I think you know just looking at while I was getting recruited just looking at the pieces that we do have here already um, is huge and I think you know I'm really excited for this year and you know as we're getting into spring ball we're seeing like how things are starting to click a little bit and it should be exciting. I really feel like home when I was here on the visit and my family loved it I loved it, it just felt right and on the plane ride back, I was just telling my, my mom, like, I really feel like this is the place. So, yeah, just the love I was getting and the support I was getting from the fans, it just all felt right. Was there? I mean, I knew he was really the top quarterback that was coming in, and he was looking to be QB1. So I was like, it's good that he's already hitting me up, you know, get a good little connection with him. Surprising. Uh, I was kind of prepared for the weather, but it is pretty cold out here. <laughs> uh, I got a big coat though and stuff to keep me warm. So, but nothing really, really surprising. I mean, everybody here is just really humble, and we all a big family. It feels like so. Um, we, um, we we got a couple of conversations. I was committed to Virginia still, but you know, he told me uh, just give him a chance, you know, just talk to him. So that's what I did. And, um, I do think it's gonna be um, it's gonna be big, but I believe in myself and. Um, Football is football at the end of the day. I know that my coaches you know, playing against great players every day in practice. I'd be prepared you know, to go out there. Um, they they handled it pretty well. We had a good um, talk. Uh, the coaches, they said good luck. They happy for me. They want me to bet on myself. So it wasn't that bad of a transition. They were um, supportive. Talk about yeah, that was very different for me personally this year. I know the transfer portal has been open for a couple of years now, but especially at Iowa, like we don't really dive too deep into the transfer portal. So this this year, when we came back in January, it was kind of different seeing all those new faces. But it's also cool just to build new relationships with those guys, and you know, you get to hear stories about where they came from and how they got to where they are here today so I mean that's pretty cool and ultimately we all have the same goal getting to NDC. Yeah, so me being a sixth year I know we have Joe's our other sixth year on the D-line uh, or the defense but I mean I, I feel like it's up to us for, to you know set the practice standard each and every day uh, you know have the same standard that we've had the past 20 plus years and you know just take that out each and every day to practice and you know take the younger guys under our wing and you know guide them and not kind of force them but kind of teach them and lead the way for them. Yeah, I'm very confident about our group this year. We got a lot of guys back uh, that have played meaningful snaps for us so I think that's a plus to add to our confidence and then uh, also just building a stronger relationship with each other outside of the uh, 
outside of the facility, just getting to know one another. And, you know, I feel like once you get to know each other better, you get a different type of respect for it. Well, um, I think a goal that has been instilled here ever since I've been here was we want to win the Big Ten West. We know that that starts every single day, starting now. So just continuing to get better every single day and winning each game, one game at a time. And next year, if I'm looking back and we're Big Ten West, Big Ten champions, I'll be pretty happy with that. No, that was actually a, a pretty easy decision considering my two options were both great options. I mean, trying to live out my dream of playing NFL football was option one, or coming back to play college football in the place where I, I truly believe is like the second home to me was option two. So whatever I chose, I would have felt like pretty, I don't know, confident and I would have loved either path. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm super happy to be back here. When I first got here, I was I was pretty nervous about coming to a new school. I guess I didn't transfer, but I, I went to a prep school and I early enrolled here, so I liked in coming with the class of my own. So I remember like people being super nice to me and just like trying to get to know you, which is one thing I think I was is great at is creating this like family environment. So just trying to be like the older guy was to me back when I was. Uh, freshman here, just try to be as welcoming as I possibly can and let them know that if they have any questions for me, I'm open to answering them and just trying to push them to be the best they can possibly be. Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, there's a way we do things here and uh, just kind of talking to them about, you know, what our goals are and um, what our team goals all are and what we want to accomplish this year and just kind of getting with them and figuring out like where their where their standpoint is and like where their heads are at and just kind of going there and then um it kind of all starts out i would say just kind of making a bond um kind of at an individual level don't really make it about football um right away and then really kind of start going from there with like individual goals and then what you want for a team um so i was actually just laughing about this story the other day so i remember coming in um, in January for the first day and um, I was talking to I think Deontay Craig and Herke just kind of like uh, they, we all play DN so we were just kind of talking in the locker room and I and I told him I'm like it kind of feels like Christmas morning you know you see all these new guys in here um, all these mid-years come in and just talking about my leadership role and just kind of trying to help them along with the process and literally anything I can help them in so whether that be with school, um, anything in the building, um, literally anything I can help. Um, I gave them all my number just to make sure they could come reach out to me with, you know, whatever they want, if they want to go and watch tape or literally anything. So I think I've been doing a good job of that, helping those guys out.